Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel. Really interesting brain test today, we need to complete this numeric series. We have 1, 4, 27, 256 and we need to find the last number. Right here on the bottom we have a lot of options, we have A, B, C and D, so I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It's really interesting to check our answer here in just 30 seconds. So solve it by yourself and write your suggestion into the comment section. Ok, what about solution to this problem? We have a lot of numbers, so on the first side there is no pattern between these numbers numbers 1, 4, 27, 256. Of course I see this pattern right now, but I want to show you step by step how can we get this pattern, how can we find this. Ok, so we have these numbers 1, 4, 27 and 256. So what is the pattern between all of these numbers? So first of all this one, this is like good number, this is 1 and then that's it. We can leave it right here, this one. What about this 4? How can we write this 4? As, as 1 times 4, which is not good for us, but we will know the very simple expression 2 times 2, which is really great. 2 times 2. What about 27? How can we write this 27 as 1 times 27? Of course no, this is not good for us. As 3 times 9? Let's write it, let's write it as 3 times 9. Let's see. Ok, 256. How can we, how can we write this 256? Of course, a lot of discussion about this 256, but let's write it as 2 at first, yeah? Let's write it as 2 times uh, 100, like 128, yeah? Like that, 128. This is really great. Let's go next. Let's try to simplify this expression, because 1, this is really good, 2 times 2, this is really good, we cannot simplify this more, but if you look a little bit right here, we have like 3 times 9. We can write this as 3 times and 9 can be written as 3 times 3, ok? So as you can see right here we have a little uh, really good pattern, 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 3, which is really great. What about this expression? So we have 1 times 128, yeah, it's not like that, but if you look looks back we have 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 3, so it looks like 4 but 4 times 4 times what number? So times 4 and times 4. Let's check. It will be the same as 256 or not, yeah? So we have 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3 times 3. And let's, and let's check this expression because we have 256. It will be the same or not, or not the same. So 4 times 4 times 4, it will be like 16. 16 times 4, it is like uh, 64, yeah? So, it's not 256, but if you multiply once more by 4, we will have like 16 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 16 times 16, which is 256. So, this is a correct expression of this 256. Ok, but moreover, why I read these expressions? Because this is 1 to the first power, this is 2 square, this is 3 cube, this is 4 to the 4 to the 4 times 4 times 4, this is 4 to the 4th power, which is really great. So, this is our natural order. 1, 2 square, 3 cube, 4 to the 4th, and the last number will be 5 to the 5th power. Yeah, I hope you understand this solution to this problem. But what about 5 to the 5th power? Like, we know 5 cube equal to 125, so, or just write it like that. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 and times 5, okay? So 5 times 5 times 5 equal to this one 25, right here this one 25, so 625 times 5, this is like 3125, so 3125. This is a solution to this problem, option, option D. I hope you understand this explanation, of course, you can easily solve it by yourself like in, in like 10 seconds, you can easily see this pattern, but this is my solution to this problem. I hope you understand this explanation. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, ok? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, you can easily subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures, thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.